Kuhn, WLSN, LaSalle Broadcasting Network, and we're here tonight with Mark Nye, who is a 2012 graduate of LaSalle High School and recently completed the Flying Pig Marathon, where he finished amazingly 33rd out of, or rounded up to 5,000, 4,000 and some, 33rd. Not surprising, though, when you got a guy that's run under the direction of Frank Russo, and uh, Mark, first and foremost, congratulations. How's it feel? Oh, it feels pretty great, Barrett. Uh, thank you for your congratulations. Although I gotta say, there's a very strict line. It goes from being the best experience of your life to being the absolute worst experience <laughs> of your life. And that happens around mile 23. You know, that's a common theme. They say the 23 mile marker certainly is that uh, mile marker that causes a lot of problems for long distance runners. Let's go back to that morning. In fact, let's go back further than that and talk about the preparation that goes into an event like this. Certainly Flying Pig Marathon, one of the most the, uh, elite uh, courses or races in the country. How did that preparation go as you prepare for that big jaunt? Well, the moment I decided that I wanted to do it again, uh, I knew that I needed to start training uh, more regimentally and earlier than I did last year. And so I started a training for it around uh, February, where I started running around three miles a day. And then I would run three miles a day for about two weeks, and then I would pick that up to four miles a day. And then I kept going and adding more miles until I got about 10 miles in, and then I would just flat line out at 10 miles in. And then every other day, I would go farther than 10 miles. And then I would pick That's a week. That's borderline and... insane, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. So as the weeks drew closer to the Flying Pig, I picked out two weekends where I would do 20 milers. So I did my last 20 miler two weeks before the Flying Pig. It's interesting to note though, in talking to a lot of guys, that you never actually run the full 26 in preparation for an event like this. Why is that? Uh, it's too much strain on your legs. I mean, I started training again just a few days ago for just whatever races I may run. And you'll notice that you can never Here's how I describe running a marathon. It's a lot like saving up to buy a car. All the miles you put in before that marathon is you putting money in the bank, putting money in the bank, putting money in the bank. And then you run the marathon, that's driving the car for the first time, driving it off the lot. The mile 23, that's crashing the car. And then the rest of it is just walking back to home. And then afterwards, you got to put more money in the bank to buy a new car. More reason, like me, you just take a used car and you don't have to worry about doing any of that <laughs> stuff. You know that? Hey, what's the significance of Spider-Man? I see Spider-Man there. What's that all about? Well, for as long as I can remember, Spider-Man has always been my favorite superhero just because he always sticks up for the little guy. He's not always just fighting the big threat. In the one of the most recent movies, he actually goes out of his way to save a kid running away from bullies. So I think that he just speaks to me. Awesome. Now, this is pretty cool because you now qualify for another, probably the elite race in all the country, the Boston Marathon. How did it feel? Because I know you wanted to uh, to eclipse some uh, some of your times from last year's event. You did that. Yep. Now you qualify for Boston. Talk about that. Well, it's actually very unreal because uh, as I was in the mile 23 mark, where I'm like, well, maybe this might be out of reach. But then you see the clocks, and I didn't wear a watch this time because I didn't want to worry myself. But you see the clocks, and then you see how much time you have left, and you're like, this might actually be possible. I could do this. And then you see the finish line, and you're like, I'm going to do this. So you just put all the pain, all the misery out of your head, and you just go straight ahead to that finish line, and you just keep trucking it. One final question. How did LaSalle High School and Frank Russo and the great program that he's established here, how did that prepare you for the Flying Pig? If it was not for the discipline instilled by Frank Russo, I definitely would have given up training a long time ago. Uh, just his regiment was just perfect for keeping you in the mindset that you have to keep running, otherwise you're just going to give up and not do it. What do you recommend to somebody that might want to run the Flying Pig? Not me. <laughs> what would you recommend to somebody that's thinking about doing it? Uh, even if you think you can't do it, definitely put it in your mind. And if you don't think you can do a full 26, try the half marathon first. And then later on in you know, your life, you can try the full marathon. And whatever you do, do not stop running. It will put you out. Mark, thank you for all the support you've given me and my chase to the Padres, San Diego Padres, and certainly what you continue to do for WLSN and LaSalle High School representing us so well. Thank you so much for doing that. No problem. Thank That's, you for having me. Absolutely. We'll do it again. That's 2012 graduate Mark Nye qualifying 33rd in the Flying Pig Marathon, and you'll see him perhaps on TV maybe 33rd at the Boston Marathon <laughs> coming up next. For executive producer Mike Nye, 
Pedro, Barrett Cohen, WLSN, and LaSalle Broadcasting Network.